Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will try to understand Redux architecture. Redux building block you can say, Redux architecture you can say and try to understand how Redux works. Okay. So we will first try to see what all components we understand from Redux, right? So we talked about something like a store. I hope this is visible. So we talked about store, we talked about actions. We talked about reducers. Okay, working with Redux is simple. We just need to understand these terms and how to write these. Okay, store we talked about. Okay, this is a single source of truth. It is nothing but it will have an object. So you can say const obj. This is my state profile is an empty object this is my initial state and this is my current state of my client application which the store is holding okay actions are nothing but these are something which is triggered from the ui or there are many ways to trigger it if we are just talking about only about redux then redux independently can also dispatch these actions actions will do nothing but actions will have two things one is a type Type is update profile and you will have a data and reducers are nothing but a functions. What these functions we are doing? These functions we are known as a pure functions and what these functions are doing? They are actually taking care of the current state. So it is like this. So they are taking up the current state and the action name and based on that they are returning new state okay this is the objective of the reducers so how it is working there will be action coming either from the ui or from redux layer this will be going to reducers and the reducers will talk to the store i mean the reducers are inside a store only but for now let's talk them differently okay so consider that there is a ui I mean UI can trigger these actions or Redux itself can trigger these actions. These are the reducers. So UI, okay, there is a button. Okay. And what you did is you clicked on to that button and you are sending one action which is having this definition. In that button we have two things. One is type. Type is like update profile. Okay, this is the type and you might be sending some payload. These are empty object. Okay, these two things you are sending in the action. Now, we started from here. Now it is going to the reducers. We are calling that reducers are nothing but a JavaScript functions. Right? So, you can see this is a function which is taking current state and your action name. Now what this function will do, this function is doing nothing but it is just checking what is the current state name, okay, based on current state. So it can have a switch, else if, if else, if else block, based on this current, based on the action which you have received, it will return, maybe not something it will return, right, return like I have a profile. I got some data in the profile, I will be returning it. That's it. And now this whole thing is happening inside this store. So what final state we got? The final state of my application is something like this. I had this action. This is my final state. Right? I got the profile, maybe profile will have a username and all. So this is a pipeline. I try to do a staircase kind of a UI so you can understand it. Button, some actions was triggered. Action is going to the reducer. Reducers are nothing but a simple functions which already have the current state and you are sending an action. Action like update profile. Based on that, I will return the new state object. Okay, this new state object now will be available in the store. And now the, the data inside the store can be accessed by your components. Okay. So the architecture is something like this. Actions, reducers and store. 
actions will have this type and data when these actions are reaching to the reducer reducer is checking the type based on type it is deciding what will be the, the next state and based on the next state reducer will return the next state and that next state will be available in the redux store okay now in in the whole application there can be hundreds reducers one may be a profile reducer account reducer maybe any kind of reducer which is maintaining some kind of a data in pure functions pure functions are nothing but taking two things current state and action based on the action they are giving you the new state object and that is being combined inside a store okay so let's talk about this in the next video how these actions reducers and store collectively combining things and making this redux library